shit. Listen, of course, I'm a wrestling fan. Common sense logic, okay? But look, you got to be kidding me. Since October the 6th, TNA Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, whatever, hasn't had a world champion. As of today, it is December 28th. Um, uh, okay, look. Has there in any wrestling history been a title, world title vacant for this long? I mean, vacant has had a lot of championships this year in multiple organizations. They, 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 vacant has had the Intercontinental Championship. Vacant has held the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But at least that was solved within a range of weeks. Even though WWF did this type of thing before with vacant championships and whatever, whatever, but it has never been this long. This is way too long to go at a, to be a major promotion without a world champion. That's ridiculous. I don't understand. Okay, I understand that they have the world title series, but it shouldn't have gone this long. A vacant championship, in, as far as trying to be a threat, trying to be a major wrestling company, trying to be the one that are trying to get at the level or even overthrow your competition, is just plain fucking ridiculous. I, I just don't see how they're going to bounce back from this. I mean, I don't think that TNA is going to bounce back at all. Most people think that TNA is just going downhill and they're just pretty much done. And once again, you can't blame Hogan or Bischoff. They're gone. They've been gone. They've been gone for years. So what do you got to blame this on now? Yes, it's Dixie Carter and all her idiot staff. The writers are just idiots. How can they not see? And, and again, it's not, it's not only about putting on good matches. Putting on good matches, yeah. But, okay, having good storylines, yeah. But you have to have everything fucking mean something in the long run. What if they finish this championship series, and next thing you know, you get a world champion, and he drops it in, like, two weeks? What Then what was it all for, really? If they're going to crown a champion, a new champion, or a champion that just get, gets the belts again, a former champion, then they better make this mean something as to have that champion keep that shit for a long fucking time and elevate the championship. Because this championship series has gone on way too fucking long. They haven't had a champion for way too fucking long, and it's just ridiculous to me. So I I don't know. It, it, I I'm uh, most people are just just stop watching TNA altogether and just very very disappointed in TNA because as I said before, they were trying to get up to WWE's level as far as wrestling. They even had former WWE wrestlers, and they still couldn't use them correctly. They still couldn't overthrow them. They couldn't capitalize on all the bullshit. bullshit. That WWE was doing as far as losing their fans and and sh shoving people down people's throats and okay I totally don't believe that people can shove down your throat you have the cho choice to change the channel or to turn that shit off but anyway TNA had just dozens of chances and they fucked up on all of them and I just can't believe it I love wrestling I love good wrestling matches I will always wrestling will always be a part of me. But that doesn't mean I'm going to watch every promotion, especially if they're doing garbage like this. So questions, comments below. I would like to get your opinions about this. So please feel free. So drop kick, body slams, throwing up motherfuckers over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor. Once again, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.